Good morning, everybody. I'm excited to share with you a cross stitch that I received for review, and I'm taking it out of the bag, you know, to respectfully preserve my address. And it is a cross stitch from the company called VIPCrossStitch.com. I will link the company in the description below as well as the link for this particular pattern in the description below and I want to tell you a little bit about my history with cross stitching so that you can see why this is exciting for me about a month ago I decided to cross stitch I did cross stitch for three weeks completed my first pattern which was a very detailed pattern and then I started another one, got sick, took a couple of weeks off. So I have three weeks under my belt with cross stitching, but I'm definitely in love with the craft. I have at least a dozen kits to do for 2022, including this one. Now, when I talked to the company and they gave me a link to their Amazon page, I saw this one and you'll see why I chose it if you know anything about me. So let's first empty the bag, which the bag I did open already, full disclosure. I wanted to make sure everything was there so it was previously opened by myself. So I'm just separating everything. So what you see here is a kitty cat with fall leaves. I mean, how perfect can you be? Now, yes, it's the end of November going into December so before i finish this it will probably be spring but it will definitely be ready by next fall i'm not sure how i'm going to succeed with it because again i'm very new to it but i love uh counted cross stitch and i do want to go back for a second to say that this is a counted cross stitch this is not a patterned cross stitch and i guess the first thing i want to show you is the fabric and I, I'm stopping myself to, to show you this. Counted cross stitch is done on a blank canvas and you count in order to place your stitches. Now, the packaging does give you very, very, very brief instructions on how to make your X's because cross stitch is stitching in the form of an X, therefore the word cross. So it gives you brief instructions. But beyond that, which I can't really show you too much of this because it's not legal to share patterns, but I'll just show you a little bit of it. I, I think just showing you this much of it won't impede any type of copyright. But it gives you certain information and you use this information in order to ascertain where to place your stitches on the pattern. So I just wanted to show you this to show you that. Don't worry that it's in a different language, which I believe is Russian. That doesn't matter one bit because all I need is the size 40 by 50 centimeters and the stitches 187 by 242, 187 wide by 242 high. So what I have, and I, I think it's on, um, yes, cross stitch calculator. Okay, it's an app on my iPad or my phone, and this is 14 count Ada. Now there are, even in my limited experience as a cross stitcher, there are, I've learned that there are so many different types of fabric. You have 14, you have 11, 14, 16, and 18 count Ada. Then you have even weave and you have other ones. Well, this is 14 count Ada. So that is hap happens to be what's on the app. And if we look here, it says it's 187 by 242. And it's 14 uh, threads per inch with say a two inch border. So if we hit done, then our fabric should be 18 by 22 inches wide. Let's see what it is really quickly before we continue. It says 18 by 22 inches wide to be adequate for this. 
This is exactly 19 and a half by 17. Let me move this up a little bit. This is said, uh, this, I don't know why it's depropriate. It says 16 and a half, so it seems a little, I don't, I don't know if you can see that. See how that's 16 and a half? Let's do this one more time. The width is great, 19 and a half. You see the width is 19 and a half. So now we're going to go back to the calculator. To properly do this, it needs to be 18 by 22. Now we're going to remove the border because I want to tell you a communication. You see the, according to the, if you don't have a border, then should be 14 by 18. So let's say we don't have a border. That's 19 and this is 14. So technically it's the right size. If I put this in a frame, it's going to be a little snug. So I probably will do this on a different, I probably will do this pattern on a different piece of data. Because if I'm going to frame it, I'm going to be covering over part of my image. But in all fairness, I'm only going to be covering over the leaves in the tree trunk. So I may use it. I have to think about it and talk to more experienced cross stitches. But there you have it. Again, we're going to go back to this. It tells us that the pattern is 40 centimeters by 50. So let's look at it in centimeters. Because I don't do centimeters, but we'll do it for the sake of what it says. So this is exactly 50 centimeters and yes. So this does measure appropriately, and but I, of course, converted it to inches. And those are the amount of stitches. I don't quite know how many stitches that is. I don't know if it's literally 187 times 242 equals X amount of stitches. I don't know that yet, but we'll figure that out. But let's look at this sheet again. It tells us that it's 14 count, which we know is ADA, and that's what they provided us with. No worries, I have extra ADA, so if I do find out that I need a bigger piece of fabric, I can moderate, modify this fabric for another use. It's not a concern at all. I think at this point, so far, this is going to get a good rating. I wanted to uh, show you something that I kind of like with this with this Ada. You see, okay, I can't see it with my eye, but I can see it with my camera. But you see the stitches are marked. That's 14 count per inch. 14, 14, 14. I'm going to come a little bit closer. So you see that? So I kind of like that because all of the other Ada that I have purchased up until now, which is for future projects, does not have this. But there are ways around it. Like, for example, let me show you something. You could buy a cross stitch gauge, which I purchased. And if you bought a cross stitch gauge, and you really needed to mark your own fabric, you could with a gauge like this. This this gauge covers a lot. Uh, 14 count, 11 count, 24, uh, all the way up to, I think, 36. So I do like the fact that they marked this. And I did hear two things. One, I heard that when you iron it, this should disappear. Or when you wash it, it should disappear. I'm not sure which, of, which is which. And possibly it might even be covered over by the stitches. But again, I'm too new to it to find out. Let's look at the floss. Now, here it gives us a, uh, we'll call it a uh, manifest, a guide, uh, I'm not sure what it's called. And you see it has 13 colors and it shows you the stitches for each color. I'm going to try to make it not there we go just wanted to focus it so you have 13 colors 
very, very clear, very, very easy to see. Okay. And so what we have here, and I'll probably bobbinate this, is here's all 13 colors separated here. And all I have to do is match uh, the symbol to each one. Very, very easy. But one thing I love is guess what this has? It has extra floss. Now, I have purchased three complete kits, maybe four, from a different company, and it comes with floss on one of these. And then I've purchased floss for individual kits based on my estimation with the, the crossage calculator and so forth. But I have, I have not yet run across extra floss. So I love that. And I just want to compliment uh, VIP cross stitch for including the extra floss. Um, let's take a look at it because I haven't opened it. So I, I assume it's all the colors. And if it is, I, you know, I'm just ecstatic about that. I don't want to mess it up. So it doesn't look like it's all of the extra colors, but perhaps where the colors are darker on the pattern, it has it has extra. And that's easy to see because, for example, gold is in, is not there's not extra gold, but then there's not a lot of gold in the pattern, just in a few spots. But like where there's a lot of green here, there's plenty of extra green. So A plus for that. So what do we have to consider here? We have the gorgeous pattern, which if it has a cat, it has my name on it. I have about 15 or so jigsaw puzzles with cats. This is my second cross stitch pattern with cats. I have a good dozen diamond paintings with cats and I have two cats. I love cats. So that's a plus. What's next is the beauty of it being a fall picture, which will give me plenty of time to work it out over the months. And I do have a little app that I found, or actually it's a spreadsheet that I will be able to sort this out to see how long it will take. So the leaves are perfect. I love the green in the tree trunk or whatever this is. These might just be logs with the variegated colors. I love that. I love the fact that the floss is on this. Very easy to see. And I love that it is extra, there is extra floss included. Another thing that I'm very appreciative of is that it's gridded, very lightly gridded. And last but not least, we have the stats that are on the pattern. And again, I can't show you the entire pattern. Um, I will talk to a couple of cross stitch friends and if, if this pattern can be done and framed around stitches that I will be putting into this, then I will use this, this, this fabric. If it if it won't, no worries. I I have other projects that fit the the, the uh, measurements, and I can just I can just I can definitely use it. So, where does that leave us with the review for this VIP cross stitch? Okay, I found a piece of paper. I thought I left left something out. Where does that leave us with this VIP cross stitch pattern? It leaves us with a very 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 good rating for my first official review and I want to thank VIP cross stitch for two reasons Two, try to get that number two in there the first reason is they were very communicative with me being unclear on the fabric size and they assured me that I would be happy with the fabric size we had a lot of communication secondly is I've been ill I spent two weeks in bed and then I had surgery on Monday so I was fine Monday afternoon, but by Monday evening and all day yesterday, and even today, I feel like the anesthesia is kind of kicking my behind. So I just took forever getting this review done. So I want to, that's my second reason for thanking VIP Stitch is for their patience in waiting for this review. I hope this is only the first of many 
reviews for cross stitch i try to talk over that truck that just drove by i hope that this is the first of many reviews for cross stitch uh, patterns and other things for this channel like for example jigsaw puzzles i did a jigsaw puzzle review i'm doing legos i'm going to be doing a miniature or more than one miniature actually so i I changed the channel name from Robin Loves Reading to Robin Loves Reading and all the things because I do a lot of things. Now I haven't made videos in a while so I, I do have to come back to this channel and give you guys an update. I probably, I skipped October, November, and October, November for September I think even. I didn't do the last couple of months for my reading so i'll do something quarterly or something so robin loves reading and all the things is back with this video here is the uh, item number like i said this will be linked in the description below i will link the amazon information if there is indeed a website which i'm sure i'm pretty sure there is i will also link that but anything relevant will be in the description below I want to thank everybody for your time. I want to thank VIP Stitch for their patience and for their excellence and for everything that is here. I'm excited to start it. Uh, December is right around the corner in just a few days. And that is when this pattern will be started by me. And I will intermittently show progress for this on this channel. And I will keep VIP Stitch, VIP Cross Stitch Company informed of the progress. So thank you for your time and I will be back with more content on this channel. Everyone have a good one. Bye-bye.